We are on the June Odd 8 exam. We've reached page 9. Question 44. Which combination of fundamental units can be used to express energy? Alright, so let's look at the first one. Kilograms is mass. Meters per second is velocity. That would be uh, momentum. Kilogram mass times velocity, meters per second, times distance, MVD. Mm, I don't know what that is. Momentum times distance. Mm. All right, kilogram meters per second squared. Well, that's mass times acceleration. That's force. And here we go, kilogram meters per second squared times meters, kilogram meters per second squared times meters, maybe force times distance, which is work, and work and energy are the same units. Energy is the ability to do work. So the correct answer would be choice four. Question 45, an object is thrown vertically upward. Which pair of graphs best represent the object's kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy as a function of its displacement while it rises? All right, kinetic energy is one half mv squared. And as it rises, its kinetic energy is going to drop. As it's going up, it will lose kinetic energy. However, it will gain potential energy. It goes higher and higher in the air, potential energy. MGH. And as a function of its distance, as it rises its height, it'll gain potential energy at a constant rate. And in, in, if that happens, it will lose kinetic energy at a constant rate as a function of distance. So let's go look at these graphs. Kinetic energy, uh, this is uh, one we just drew. Well, let's go to two. This shows the kinetic energy rising, so somehow the velocity, velocity's gotta be getting faster as it goes up in the air. That's not gonna happen. Here we go, the kinetic energy stays the same, so the velocity stays the same. One half mv squared, kinetic energy stays the same, velocity has to. That's not gonna be happening. Kinetic energy decreases, that's good, but the potential energy stays the same. So potential energy is mgh. It means its height stays the same as it gets displaced. <laughs> so that doesn't make sense either. Good. Question one was the right one. Question 46. Charge flowing at a rate of 2.5 times 10 to the 16 elementary charges per second is equivalent to a current of, uh, and all the units are amps. All right, so we're looking for, we've got charge uh, per second, and we're looking for current. Well, current is, um, well, those are mechanics formulas. Current is a charge per second. So it's charge per second. Um, current is charge per second, but uh, it wants coulombs per second. Coulombs per second is an amp. So somebody need, need, to, need to know the relationship between uh, elementary charges and coulombs. And on the front, I find that one coulomb is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the 18 elementary charges. So I'm going to say one coulomb is 6.25 times 10 to the 18 elementary charges. And I've got 2.5 times 10 to the 16 elementary charges per second. 
So I multiply and then divide, and uh, elementary charges will cancel out. And I'll be left with coulombs. So let's come up with a number. Well, when I divide in it with 0 0.004 coulombs per second, or 0 0.004 amps. And, um, well, I only have one answer. You don't have to use the exponent. It's got to be this one. It's the only one with a 4 in it. But in fact, it's 4 to the negative third, so that's 0 0.004 amps. So that was the correct answer. 47, an electric drill operating at 120 volts draws a current of 3 amps, 3 coulombs per second. Was the total amount of electrical energy used in the drill for 1 minute of operation? So I'm going to say my voltage, breaking these tips, my voltage is 120 volts. My current is 3 amps, and my time is, ready, 60 seconds. I'm just going to go ahead and lay that in there. Um, amps is coulombs per second, and in order to have my units work, I've got to have my time in units of seconds. So, we're looking for electric energy, electric energy. And so, in electricity, work is electric energy. Work is power times time, voltage times current times time. I've got all those. Let's go and use that formula. Work. Work is voltage times current times time. So 120 volts times 3 amps times 60 seconds. Let's see. Let's see, 3 times 60 is 180. 180 times uh, 120 is about 21,600. And uh, it's not that answer. It's not that. 216,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 21,600. That's answer. Choice one.